Hey guys, welcome to another video of Pitmaster X. Look, today we're making duck confit. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. And as always, the first thing to do is start up your barbecue. Put in some charcoal. Put in two of these starter cubes. And just wait for around 15 minutes. Now this is Kamado Joe Big Block. And these are big chunks of hardwood. And that works really, really well in your barbecue. It's really strong piece of wood and it will produce a lot of heat, but it will also retain the heat for a long time. So the charcoal is almost ready. We're just gonna dump it in the back of the grill and we'll put the grill grate on top. And now we're getting to the part where we start cooking. I love to use terracotta pots. They're much easier than cast iron. They don't need any maintenance. And well, they do a good job at retaining heat just like cast iron. So we'll put that right on top of the charcoal. And remember this grill has a large distance between the grilling surface and the charcoal, which you can adjust. But for, for this cook, it's perfect to have a little distance. Now I got these beautiful dug legs here that we're gonna place into the terracotta pot and try to get them in as flat as you can so that they will be easily covered with uh, the duck fat. There we go. This is fresh thyme. So we're gonna place the fresh thyme around and over our duck legs and it will marinate with the oil and create a beautiful flavor. And this is fresh garlic. So we'll just take out these garlic cloves and put them in whole. Wedge them in between the legs. Add some salt. Some fresh crushed black pepper. There we go. And now we're gonna add duck fat. Now I know it's hard to get duck fat everywhere, you know. Uh, maybe your butcher has it, maybe um, the guy that sells poultry has it. You can definitely find it online. So if you can't find it locally, you can always buy it online. And it comes here as a hard fat. So we need to let it become soft and then we're gonna put it in this pan and then we'll let it simmer slowly. Now the fat has rendered down for the most part. So it's gonna be hot, so you wanna wear gloves. And the other thing that you want to do is not trip any of this grease into the fire or into the charcoal because that would cause a serious fire. So this can is 700 grams, so um, I have a little bit left, that's about 200 grams, so I put in half a liter or 500 grams into this bowl. And now we're just gonna slowly let this come up to temperature. Place it back over the fire. Now I don't wanna fry these duck legs, I just wanna get them up to temperature and really make them really soft. And the good thing about this recipe is that it's in duck fat. So while it's falling apart, it's also soaking up all that fat. So we're just gonna let it go low and slow. I'm setting the barbecue to around 110, 120 degrees Celsius. So we're now a half hour in and just wanna check to see if everything is going all right. And it is. We're getting a nice bit of bubble and of course, the oil is much hotter than 120 degrees because it's over the charcoal, but we're doing nicely. It's a slow simmer almost. So we'll just keep going like this, low and slow. If you need to add a little charcoal because you're running out and the temperature's going down, just make sure you keep check on that. But for the rest, we're looking good. Well, the duck legs have been simmering for two hours now, and I think they will be done. Oh, wow. <laughs> the smell is fantastic. The thyme, the garlic, it's all coming together. It even changed the color. The thyme really made the duck fat green. It looks really good. Ooh, that's tender. I actually don't need to measure the temperature. I'm just poking to see if it's tender or not. And we're getting a 98 degrees Celsius, which is around 205 degrees Fahrenheit. That means that our duck leg is done. So I'm gonna take the duck legs off the grill carefully with some high temperature resistant gloves. 
While our duck legs are cooling down, we're going to take off the grill grate. And we're going to add a bit of charcoal. And now we're going to let the grill get up to grilling temperature so we can have a last sear on our duck legs. So we carefully take out these duck legs, make sure they don't fall apart. Take off the thyme twigs. Now we're going to make a quick salad. I got a little bit of field lettuce. We'll work on our dressing. And the base for our dressing is mustard. So I'm using coarse mustard. That's about a tablespoon. And I'll use two tablespoons of honey. And a little bit of vinegar, which is about one third of the honey. You can choose the vinegar that you prefer. You can use apple cider vinegar, you can use strawberry vinegar, whatever type you prefer. Uh, I like to use a sweet vinegar, especially for salads. A small pinch of salt to boost the flavors. A little bit of black pepper. We'll thin slice a sweet onion ring. There we go. And I like to thin slice some fennel. Really thin. We'll add that to our lettuce. And now we can start grilling our duck legs. They've cooled so down somewhat and you can feel that the skin is like almost gummy. And we really don't like the gummy skin of chicken or from duck. And even though it has some brownness to it, it's really soft and tender. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly grill it over direct heat and crisp it up. Be careful, there's still a lot of fat on the duck leg, so we gotta make sure they don't burn. So we'll move them around to prevent any big flare-ups. Now let's plate up the salad. There we go. Nice and high, a little bit of our vinaigrette, top of the salad, and also, of course, on the plate. And then we get our duck legs off. Well, it looks good, but now we gotta try, of course. We're gonna do this pitmaster style. No knives and forks. We're just gonna dive right in. Oh, that is some seriously delicious duck leg. It's so tender, it's so moist from the fat, it's fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. The onion and the fennel in the salad really balanced out the flavors and the greasiness of uh, the duck leg. So give it a try guys, you might be surprised. See you guys next time, cheers. Mm.